there, Mage Knight fans. I'm Bammer. I'm the Nishi. And today, we're going to take all the love that we have built up that you have for us, and we're going to flush it down the toilet based on our rankings today of the red advanced action cards. We have the top three favorites and the top three that we don't ever select. Mm -mm. So let's take a look at that list. Let's do it, baby. The bottom three. The first one is Ritual Attack. Oh. In this situation, you have to throw away a card when playing the advanced action card to get a Siege 2 or an Attack 5. I don't think so. I want my deck to be bigger, not smaller. Oh, maybe I could power it up with a mana, throw away a card, use my advance action, and get a fire attack of a, of a few? No, thank you. All right, Ben, all right. I'll see your terrible card, and I'll raise you an even worse one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to decompose. Oh, once again, throw away cards. We're trying to build our deck, not make it smaller. And what do you get? I don't know, a crystal, and then you, you power it up with a red, you get three crystals, two crystals. It doesn't matter. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I've never taken it. I never will. I'd rather play Gloomhaven. Oh, maximal effect is our third one that we extremely dislike. Should be no surprise because it requires you to throw away another action card, and then you get twice the effect, three times the effect of it in the basic, twice the effect in a power-up, it is absolutely not worth it. Now, I understand that maybe you want this late in the game to get rid of your movement cards, but overall, I don't want to throw away cards. So those are our bottom three. Well, I'm in a terrible mood. Yeah, well, let's, let's talk about our good ones. All right, here we go. Our top three favorite red advanced actions. Obviously, it's a no-brainer. Firebolt. I love it. The top, give me that red crystal. Great. And the bottom, range three, fire. So versatile for the range or the fire when they have physical resistance. Great card, great versatility, I love it. The second one that we like is the counterattack. You get an attack to the basics, but for every enemy that you block, you get an additional attack to. And then the power up is the attack four and plus three. So if you're going into a city and fighting three different enemies, and let's just say you can block even two of them, power up, attack 10. Ooh, that is good. Pretty dominant. And our last favorite, you all know what it is. Ah! Ah! Stop intimidating me! Oh god, I love this card. I love it for the versatility. It could be used for attack, or it could be used for influence. Then you power it up, gets it even better. Attack 7, influence 8. Hurts your reputation a little bit, but you know what? We're a mage tonight. We didn't come here to make friends. Huge attacks when you need it. I love it. Versatility. I love it. So tell us. What did we get right and what did we get wrong? What did we miss in our top three? What did we miss in our bottom three? We're interested. Can you leave us a comment? Can you ask a question? Tell us what you think. We're interested. Subscribe to our page because there's a lot more exciting videos coming up soon. You don't want to miss it. Ah-ha! Uh -huh.